Welcome back everybody. It's time for another toy review. We just got a brand new drop from Biomasters. It looks incredible. Can't wait to do some really cool builds with this that hopefully I'll include on the video. But I have the package here. I pretty much got everything from the drop or the wave. So let's open it up. All right, let's dump it out here. Oh yes, we've got brand new bio monsters we've got super awesome unpainted we got our cool mutant frog creature pirate captain dude if you remember him Ooh, we've got some extra parts i see possibly very nice couple maybe or are these parts of the robot we've got a really cool robot in here too there's so many extra parts there's so many cool pieces to use in these sets but so many things here First up, we do have a couple of these bio monsters. I love these dudes, they're awesome. And this is in like a nice like chocolate color. And the build that I wanna use is gonna be utilizing a, uh, a ton of these pieces actually. So it makes for a really nice kind of like base color choice, color path that you can take. And then you can put some nice like color highlights in the model itself. And I think it pops really nicely with this like darker brown. But we have one that's painted, we have one that's a base. So this will be for like some of my other spare parts that don't need a painted piece on it. Okay, so we do have a lot of spare parts. I did get one of the robot guys, constructor robot dudes, which I missed out on on the last drop. I wasn't able to get them. So I'm pretty sure some of these pieces, there's feet pieces and different ones in there that you can see, but I'll be showcasing as we go through the video what all these figures look like built and put together since it's gonna take me a second to actually build these since all the pieces are kind of scattered and left, you know, in a, just a big pile here. <laughs> but these are some really nice, nice, nice pieces here. A lot of good extra ones that I can definitely be using, especially like these body ones, which I need more bodies to make more figures because I have a lot of extra heads and arms and all that nonsense. But when it comes to like the chest, piece, the body piece. I'm missing a lot of those. So I can't like take and build other figures with all my extra parts. So these will come in handy, quite handy. And then we have our little shark mutant. I believe that's what he's called in this drop. I'll put the names up on screen as I usually do. It's got a very cool kind of aquatic vibe to it. It's got like this nice light bluish gray in the figure for the painted one. And then it's got these orange highlights with the stark white contrast. I think it looks really sweet. I think this one looks better than the previous drop, which I was still a fan of. You can see is sitting up here it's got that nice lime green which you know i like but i think that white and orange just really make it look sharp as hell and then of course i had to get myself an unpainted because there was a limit in this drop to just getting one per person with this guy because he's a very very popular figure as he should be so i had to get myself an unpainted as well so one unpainted one normal and i can't wait to go to town on all these nice light colors again this base it's got white it's got gray those are perfect just drop tones that you can just add in nice highlights and details, which I'm personally more of a fan of than completely overpainting on a, a Glios figure. I prefer going in and adding those little extra touches of highlights and shadows that just will make the figure pop completely. I don't know how I'm setting up the video. You may have seen already clips of these built, but we're gonna start building these. I'm gonna put them together and show you guys how they all look. And then we're gonna try to do that custom build, which I'm very excited for. Really quick though, if you guys enjoy these toy reviews, if you enjoy Glios, make sure to subscribe and support the channel. I love doing these toy review videos when new drops and waves happen. We have a new O'Neill one that'll be happening this Sunday. Uh, when you're seeing this, it'll be tonight, I guess, I believe. I think I'm gonna be releasing this Sunday. Lots of Glio stuff has been coming out and it's hurting my bank account, but I'm loving it. We just had the Mangalores recently. If you haven't checked out that review that I did, go check out that review, because that was an excellent drop. And just stay tuned for more of these. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. I ended up getting a lot more things out than I thought I was gonna. I got another Bio Mutants dropout. I got another God Beast guy, another Bio Mutant out, so I could just try to complete this thing. And yeah, because basically what happened was with this guy, I needed his parts. Since I only got two of this figure, I actually needed his parts to complete the build, as you can see here, if I hadn't shown it yet. And I didn't really want to break this guy apart because I really like how he looks. I think he's really sweet, so I didn't want to do that. So I had to find other pieces to kind of make the build. So I went a little crazy. Let's move all this over and let's check out the build. Here he is. This is the I don't know what you want to call me, some kind of demon crazy monster dude. And I really wanted to get like some nice orange reddish horns on him. Uh, but it turns out I didn't have arms, so I had to put like some more robotic arms on him. He's got 
a double wingspan going on here, which is pretty intense, along with his nice little tail. But I think he came out pretty good. He's pretty wild. I kind of put some little accessories, kind of put a belt on him a little bit. And I, I don't know, I just added a few things I thought were pretty neat. He's not like the ultimate end design that I was kind of hoping for. I did want to go a little crazy and like do more things with the original design. Uh, but he looks pretty cool for what I had available to me. And he took a long time. I mean, I spent like two hours trying to piece him together and find the right pieces and stuff. But we can take a little closer look at him here too from a different angle and you can kind of see what you think. Let me know in the comments below how this guy turned out. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with him overall. I think he's pretty sweet looking. So I don't know what his name should be. So just go ahead and leave a comment below with what you think uh, we should title this guy. But I think I am all done. These guys were exceptionally cool. I love the Bio Mutants line. Bio Monsters. I mean, they all just look so sick. As you can see, we used a different base even for this guy too. But they all stand up pretty well. I love doing this stuff. I can't wait to do more detail work on, again, the nice base version that's going to be amazing and lots of fun to put some paint on these guys are all falling down oh my gosh but there they are right there let's get a better view of all of them because this one sucks That will do it for the video. I appreciate if you guys watched all the way to the end of it. Again, make sure to go support Biomasters. Check out his store, see if there's any figures left. And, you know, stay tuned on his socials on Facebook and stuff too for when that next drop will be happening because supposedly from him, he said that uh, that new drop will be happening more quickly as well. So we can expect to see Biomasters coming back pretty soon. Just make sure to go give him some support. He definitely deserves it. I can't wait to see what's next with the new drops that'll be coming up in the future. Lastly, again, subscribe for more Glyos content and we will see you guys in the next video.